Hello everybody, I hope we're all doing very well. Today we're going to be looking at watercolour paints by Renaissance. I'd like to say a thank you to Katie Hannah who sent me these paints to play with. So that was very kind of her, so thank you Katie Hannah. Katie Ham Hannah sent me some tubes of Renaissance paints and some pans that she had pulled out. Here's a close up of the tubes. They're quite large tubes with lots of paint in them. The tubes state all the information about the paint on them, including pigment information too. Renaissance are a line of artist paints from Poland. I believe they are a brother line of Secchi paints from Italy, but much more affordable. I'm just getting to know the paints today, so I'm going to swatch them out and see what they look like and give a first impressions review of them. The paints are pretty fluid and pour out of the tube pretty easily. They don't dry very hard either and stay pretty soft even when they've been dry on a palette. This makes rewetting them a little bit easier. I'm going to paint out all of the colours, starting off with a concentrated swatch of colour at the top of each square and then blending it out with clear water. This allows me to see how the paint behaves and flows, and it also allows me to see what the paint looks like in mass tone and in a wash. The colours that Katie Hannah sent me are Permanent Carmine, Lemon Yellow, Ultramarine, Prussian Green, Cobalt Turquoise, Brown Madder, Manganese Violet, and Transparent Gold Ochre. I've written all the names on the paper, and you can find a scan of this paper over on my Patreon page. These have been painted out on cold pressed paper, so if a paint will granulate, it will show up granulation on it. It's my go-to paper and the colours tend to look quite good on it. From what I can tell from the first paintings here, they vary in consistency and behaviour. Some have really nice flow and vibrancy to them, some are a little more subdued and don't flow as much. We'll be able to tell what these colours are really like once they've all dried down. It's really important to do a test like this with your colours so you know what they look like on paper as the colour from pan to paper can be quite different. I'm going to be doing a colour wheel here with the permanent carmine, the lemon yellow and the ultramarine blue. This should indicate how the colours are going to mix with one another and show whether or not they're going to give good, clean, bright mixes. It's important to let your paints dry or leave gaps when doing colour wheels so they don't run together and create a big mess. The paints here are just some of the set of paints that Katie Hannah sent me. She also sent me some 
recipes from Rummage Small's Aquarius line, which I've also reviewed on this channel. I will leave a link to that up in the icons above if you want to go check that out. I do plan on doing a painting with these colours to see how they behave in painting because they don't always behave the same as the swatch. Doing a true row test and a painting with a paint line is the best way to find out how they behave and whether or not they're good paints. This is just a first impressions review and my opinions may change later on through experimenting and testing these paints. So the Renaissance colours now have all dried, they're all nice and dry so we can see what they look like properly. And I'm going to be brutally honest and say that I'm a little bit underwhelmed and not overly wowed by these colours. There's quite a large drying shift with these paints and some of them are a little bit not very nice if I'm going to be honest. So first off the Carmine, the permanent Carmine is really nice, it's one of the colours I really love from Renaissance by the looks of it. It's a really nice bright pink and it's a good mixing colour too. Nice and strong, got a good strength to it. The lemon yellow is a little bit disappointing. I found it to be quite weak tinting. I had to use quite a lot of it in the mixing for the green here. I had to go over and do a second layer because it is a very weak tinting. And it was also a little bit bitty, the paint is not very smooth. I didn't enjoy this lemon yellow and I'm very picky when it comes to my lemon yellows. Next is Ultramarine Blue, and I'm not a fan of this one, it's kind of got a weird texture going on here. I don't know if it picks up on camera or not, but it hopefully will do on the scan that I'm going to leave on Patreon. And I don't know if this shows as well. If I move it, I don't know if it's showing a little bit, it's got kind of a sheen on it, which is not very nice on the more concentrated part. That's not a very nice thing to have. I would imagine it'd be quite difficult to layer. So not a big fan of that one. It's okay, but I'm not a fan of it. The next one, Prussian Green, I'm actually really enjoying this one. It's quite a nice colour. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I am, but it's really nice. It had an okay flow to it, and it's just quite a good colour. I'm very happy with it. The next colour is a real disappointment and kind of sad, and it's the Cobalt Turquoise PG50. This is not the colour we think of normally when we hear the name Cobalt Turquoise. This is a very green, very muted blue colour. Normally Cobalt Turquoise is a very bright, very electric blue-green and it also heavily granulates normally. This isn't doing that and it's not really right in colour either, so I found this one to be quite disappointing. The Brown Mudder here is a really nice colour, PBR25. I found this one had a really nice flow to it and it just looks really nice. So that's a really good one. The Manganese Violet is a little bit of a letdown too. The colour is okay but it has doesn't really behave very nicely. The wash here looks kind of cloudy and not very nice. And it's not very bright either. It's not the best Manganese Violet I've tried. The Transparent Gold Ochre is a one that I quite like, it's really nice, it has a good colour to it. It had a nice flow to it and it's not shifted too much in the drying process. So let's take a look at the colour wheel. Some colours mixed better than others. The 
Carmine and the Ultramarine Blue mixed fine. Carmine mixed the best, it's a really nice colour. Mixes very nice, you get a nice red there when mixed with that yellow. The blue did okay, it made some nice-ish purples, and the greens here aren't too bad. The yellow really struggled. To get these oranges I had to use quite a lot of yellow, and for the lighter green I did have to use lots of yellow too. It really didn't hold its own up against the ultramarine blue or the carmine. Both colours overpowered the lemon yellow, and that's not something that's always normal in other brands that I've tried. So that was a new thing for me. Overall, the colours from Renaissance seem to be okay. There's no major concerns, they're still high quality, they're still going to be light fast, the colours that should be light fast. But they're not the best brand out there that I've tried. They're still better than student quality, and if you can find them cheap enough, I definitely recommend them, as they are pretty affordable in those larger tubes. And I believe if you are in the US, you can get them quite cheap. And if you can get them also really cheaply from Poland, I believe they're super, super cheap from Poland. But overall, I'm not blown away by these colours. They're nice enough, but I would never shift these. I wouldn't shift these permanently and have these as a main brand, just because they're kind of lacking in a bit of colour for me. But they're really nice still, and I'm really glad and really grateful for Katie Hanna for sending me these to try out. It was really thoughtful of her to get these for me. And I will definitely be playing with some more of these, particularly that Permanent Carmine and that Prussian Green. They do look really nice. So I'm going to definitely play with those and see what I can do. I do need to do a painting demonstration with these, but as always, I'm kind of struggling with ideas on what to paint that's not botanical. So maybe leave some suggestions for me down in the comments. So what do you guys think? Do you like any of these colours? Have you tried Renaissance before? And what do you think about the brand? Are you enjoying the brand or are they for you like me? A little bit of a letdown. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this, and hopefully, I will see you in another video. Take care and bye bye.